What's up YouTube, it's Thomas No one here. In today's video, we are going to be building a train track. So right here is where my train track is going to be built and that's why I had to move all my totes full of train track in it. Now before we start building, I just want to say that I have no idea what this train track is going to look like. So I'm just going to put pieces together and see how it looks like at the end. But I do know I want to put in this little corner one of my newest items, the diesel works. So for the diesel works, we are going to be putting in a 6 inch straight track. And we are going to be putting it on the right side of the diesel works. And then we are putting 4 curved track pieces to the 6 inch straight track piece. And then you're going to be putting a 10 inch straight track piece from the 4 curved track pieces. And then you're going to put a 8 inch straight track piece to it. And then from there you put a 6 inch straight track piece. And then a switch track. And then a 2 inch straight track piece. And then another 6 inch straight track piece that goes to the turntable of the diesel walks. Now the L side is going to be almost exactly like the same. But you'll have to put in this, adap this adapter right here because of the switches will be totally different. Okay, so today is day two on the track building process. And as you can see, I finally figured out a rough estimate on what my train track is going to look like. So on this side of the diesel works, you'll be putting down two curved tracks. And then you'll be putting down an 8 inch straight track. Along with a 6 inch straight track. Along with one of these adapters. And then you'll be putting down a switch track. A short curve track. And then you'll want to connect the switch track to the curve track. And then you'll want to put down another switch track. And this part of the train track set is completed. Now from this switch track you'll need to put in a 8 inch straight track. And then you'll need to put in a T-switch. And in between here, you'll need to put in one of these adapters. Okay, from here you're going to put down a large curved track. From there you're going to put down a 3 inch straight track. And then one of these adapters. And then a 6 inch straight track. So for the yard here, we are going to be putting down 3 6 inch straight track. And we are going to be putting them just like so. And then on the end, we're going to put a buffer away here. A buffer on this end. And in the middle, we're going to put this ramp track. And then from this one, we're going to put down a 2 inch straight track. And then from the 2 inch straight track, we are going to be putting in the really useful engine shed. And from here we're going to put in one of these adapters, a 4 inch straight track, and a switch track. And on this side of the station we are going to be putting down a 10 inch straight track, and then a 8 inch straight track. And then last but not least, a big curve track. Now I do have these two pieces of track which have been caught by a table saw. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace them by this one and that one. And by doing that, I'm going to replace it with a 2 inch straight track. And one of these tracks. And you just repeat that with the other one. Alright, so over here in the sheds, we are going to be putting down some more siding. Okay, so on this side of the turntable, you are going to be putting down a 4 inch straight track. And then one of these connectors. And then a buffer. On this one, you're going to put down a 2 inch straight track. Another one of these adapters. And then a buffer. And last but not least, for this one, you're going to be putting down a 4 inch straight track. 
and then a buffer. Okay, so today is day three on the track building process, and we are gonna start building where we left off yesterday. Alright, from here you're gonna be putting down a six inch straight track, two short curved tracks, and then a eight inch straight track, then a switch track, a short curved track, a six inch straight track, Another 6 inch straight track, a short curve track, and last but not least, a switch track. And the docks is completed. From there, you want to put down a 8 inch straight track, a long curve track, a switch track, a 3 inch straight track, a short curve track, one of these adapters, and then a 8 inch straight track. And then from the switch track, you need a 8 inch straight track and a big curve track. So I totally forgot I had to start making a bridge. And to start making the bridge, I am going to replace this 8 inch straight track with a switch track and a 3 inch straight track. So I'm going to put in one of these adapters, a 2 inch straight track, and a small curve track. And I'm going to put this riser somewhere right here here. And from the small curve track, you are going to put in a sending track piece. And from that piece, you are going to put in a big curve track. Well, the bridge isn't come together as I planned it should be, so I'm going to take a break from that and come over to the back of Nafford Station and work on it. So on this side of Nafford Station, you will need a 4 inch straight track, a 2 inch straight track, a short curve track, and then a switch track. And on this side, you'll need a 2 inch straight track, another 2 inch straight track, a 6 inch straight track, a small curve track, and then a switch track. And then you'll need a small curve track, and then a big curve track, and then a 10 inch straight track, and then a 6 inch straight track. And then you'll need one of these adapters, and a big curve track. So I figure out what to do with the bridge here, and the bridge is going to go right past the quarry. I was going to put it on top of the mountain, but I soon figure out that it's not going to work. So the mountain is just going to be a decoration. So I already put down the track risers, and now I'm going to put down a 4 inch straight track. And then a 10 inch straight track. And then a ascending track piece. And then you're going to be putting down another 4 inch straight track, 2 short curve tracks, a 8 inch straight track, and 2 more small curve tracks. Well, the train track is finished. I really enjoyed building this track, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.